Oh, nice Hello Kitty book. Yeah, I love Hello Kitty. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell. <laughs> <laughs> Ser honesto, no merezco estos poderes. ¿Qué hago por el mundo? Today we're gonna do like a dynamic of true or false. Okay. Okay. Like we search uh, some uh, Shazam facts on the internet. Okay. I will tell you, and you're gonna tell us that if they are true or false, and explain us a little why. Okay. Let's do. Oh, so, nice Hello Kitty book. Yeah, I love Hello Kitty. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell. <laughs> Okay, the first one is Shazam's costume has been modified several times by the wardrobe managers during the making of the two Shazam movies. Yeah, that's true. I, well, I mean, we modified it once. We had one suit that we had in the first movie and that was a lot of fun. And now in the second film, we have a new remodeled suit, made some changes. Um, it's a little more kind of streamlined more to my actual body composition. Uh, the colors are a little kind of darker reds and a little more adult, I think. Um, uh, the, the metal uh, kind of aspects of the gauntlets and the belt and all that stuff and the boots all have a worn kind of brass feel to them, kind of like the way that Wonder Woman's or Aquaman's armor would kind of look, you know? Um, battle, battle worn a little bit. Um, what else? The, the first suit had a wiring, actual practical wiring that lit up the gauntlets and the chest plate, but uh, that was not great. That was, it made it more uncomfortable and the wires would constantly um, uh, break or not work properly or the batteries wor wouldn't work. And so we did away with that whole thing, which I was grateful for. Um, yeah, so like, mo you know, modifications like that. Todos hacen lo que quieren y yo soy el único que intenta mantener la unidad. Si sí entiende que soy un pediatra. Stranger Things was a really big inspiration for the creation of the Shazam movies. Is that true or false? No, I would say that's false. I mean, I'm a fan of Stranger Things, but uh, I can't say that we kept that in mind as we were doing this movie. I mean, I'm, I'm old. So to me, it was like, yeah, Goonies and things like that. <laughs> um, no, but yeah, no, that would be false. Even though, yeah. Big fan of Stranger Things. Okay. And I can see the, the similarities with the kids. Uh, talking about the costume, is it true or false that Shazam cape was added digitally in some part of the movie? Oh yeah, that's true, yeah. Um, so a lot of the time I'm wearing the cape, but sometimes, depending on if it's a fight sequence that we're doing, or a, fl a flying sequence, you need the cape to, you know, behave in the way that you it would normally if you're flying in the air. But if you're just in a sound stage with a fan uh, blowing on you, you can't get the cape to do all that. So they'll just sometimes not have the cape there. Or if they think it's gonna get tangled up, if we're doing wire work or something like that, or in a fight, they'll take the cape off and they'll put it on digitally. Esto es muy personal, créelo. Hespera, Calypso, and Anthea are inspired by Greek goddess, and you create them specifically for this film. That is true. They're they're not from the comic books. They're from yeah, from old mythology and things like that, um, which which was was really cool to to be able to bring yeah the old mythological Greek gods together with superheroes because it's it feels like a good match, you know. You're really into Greek uh, mythology. Yeah, I mean, because it's it's like yeah, the original sort of superheroes, and they have the all these cool monsters and, and things. That, and I was really happy to to be able to to do like yeah, minotaurs and and uh, you know uh, manticores and cyclopses and harpies, and because uh, I love monsters, and those are like the the original monsters, you know. He's visto todas las películas de Rápido y Furioso, señora. Lo único que importa es la familia. At first, the film will be called Billy Batson and the Legend of Shazam. Is that true or false? That's very false. <laughs> yeah. No, I don't think that's as good of a title. Shazam is snappier. Some people mistake it for the, the song service, but still, <laughs> it's better. The fear of being abandoned is Shazam's weakness. Is that true or false? I think of, of all of the things that, in, certainly in, in Shazam Fury of the Gods, 
And maybe even, you know, in, in the first movie too, deep down, you know, yeah, he was a, he would be, he was abandoned many times in his life. And then that it, it, it made him bitter and jaded. Uh, and he finally has found this family that he loves so much and that loves him. And now he's about to be 18 and he might no longer be in the foster care system and he might lose them. And that is absolutely weighing on him big time. So, yeah. Mini, todos pueden ser valiosos. Si les das una oportunidad. Finally, and this is a really common uh, question I found. Is Shazam a Christmas movie? I would say yes. Because, um, I mean, we really lean into sort of the Christmas feel of it. It takes place at Christmas and all the Christmas music. It, it was kind of weird <laughs> that the first movie was released in April. I, it would have been better if it was released at Christmas. But uh, no, it, it's definitely a Christmas movie. I mean, even more so than Die Hard. <laughs> well, thank you. So thank you very much. <laughs> thank you. That was fun. Le arrojé una camioneta a un dragón. Amo mi vida. Let's get down.